A brand new refresh Tesla has fully leaked and is launching way sooner than we thought. Plus, Tesla is bringing two huge upgrades to every single Tesla on the road, prices for Teslas are creeping back up, and Apple, of all companies, has officially canceled their big Tesla competitor. Let me tell you what went wrong. We have got lots and lots of Tesla news to break down this week, so without further ado, let's jump in and also give a big thanks to Tesla Emblems for sponsoring this video. If you want to learn more about an amazing way to customize your Tesla, stay tuned, and also stay tuned to learn more about how you can win some of these items totally for free. All right, first up here is a bit of a word of warning for anyone looking to buy a Model Y right now, and that is because Tesla is basically openly warning customers and stating that a price increase is happening on March 1st for the Model Y. Now, a few weeks ago, Tesla stated a $1,000 additional discount for the Model Y as long as it was uh, uh, ordered before the end of February, and we're assuming that this is the discount Tesla's warning is going away. The price increase is gonna be basically the loss of that $1,000 discount, but given that the Model 3 has steadily started to see more and more price increases, even the price increase of the white interior of more than what it used to be, um, maybe some bigger Model Y price increases could be coming. So just sort of a word of warning there, if you're looking to buy a Model Y, do it as soon as possible because Tesla's already warning you, plainly saying prices are going up soon. One thing to know though, is that Tesla is still running that promo where you can transfer full self-driving from an older Tesla to a new Tesla or limited supercharging to a new Tesla uh, through the end of March. So while this Model Y discount's going away, that uh, supercharging and full self-driving discount, uh, or I should say free transfer, is still in effect until March 31st. Some more warnings here for those of you looking to buy a Model S or Model Y performance here in the US is that you still can't actually get these vehicles delivered. Tesla's spat with the EPA continues and due to some reporting issues and some bureaucratic red tape, Tesla is still currently unable to deliver Model S's or Model Y performance vehicles to customers in the United States. People keep having their delivery windows pushed back and back and back. So if that's happening to you and you have one of those vehicles in order, that's why it's this spat with the EPA. Um, I'd imagine by the time this video goes live, this is close to being resolved, if not completely resolved. But given that I reported on this a couple of weeks ago, it's still going on. So I'm not exactly sure why this is taking so long, but just a little warning there is that uh, these vehicles in the US are unable to be delivered until this EPA issue gets resolved. Continuing our streak of warnings here is something else to keep in mind for Tesla owners around the world. And that is that Tesla superchargers are officially ending their exclusivity and opening up to the wider array of EV manufacturers basically right now. Ford kicked off their uh, entrance into supercharger land in February and more are following throughout the rest of 2024. In fact, Tesla was just spotted filming a promotional video of third-party EVs charging in Tesla superchargers a few days ago at their Santa Monica location. Um, sort of Tesla's promoting this and they're gonna sort of actively publish this and um, just know that the days of Tesla's exclusivity of superchargers just to their owners has now come to an end. Okay, let's move on to some better news though, and that is that Tesla is finally bringing two big, very substantial updates Big, substantial, same word. They're bringing some big updates and exciting updates to their vehicle lineup. One Tesla exec has said on X and basically confirmed that a big fix is coming to Tesla's auto wiper functionality that should be coming soon and make auto wipers a lot better. If you've ever used auto wipers in your Tesla, the auto setting, it's pretty bad and never reliably works. So that should hopefully be fixed. And also a significant update is coming to sentry mode as well that will lessen the drain and power consumption used by your Tesla when it's sitting idle to capture events around the vehicle. The rule of thumb widely reported in the Tesla community for years was that sentry mode uses about 1% of your battery uh, per hour uh, that it is active. I don't know if that range or that number has sort of changed over the years, but that's what I've always been told and I think that's about accurate. And I'll tell you from personal experience and reading others' uh, experiences online is that if you leave your Tesla parked at an airport, for example, that battery can drain pretty quickly with sentry mode on, especially if you have the car parked in a more crowded area because the more times it's set off and capturing, uh, the more times it's going to sort of use energy and take away that available range. And when I went away for about a week or so for Christmas, I lost a significant amount of range and I kind of knew that and planned for that and charged a little bit more, but um, lose, lost a lot of range due to sentry mode being on with my vehicle. So something to definitely keep in mind. I will say a little pro tip for that is that if you've got your car parked for an extended period of time, try not to ever use the Tesla mobile app because every time you launch it, 
it's going to wake up the car, which causes more power drain. Uh, but um, just keep in mind that that's going to take some power away. But this update, according to a Tesla executive who's confirmed this, is actually going to lessen the power consumption of Sentry Mode by up to 40%, which should be some pretty good savings to the battery there. So you can obviously use it and not be as concerned that your range is going to go down or your battery capacity is going to go down uh, with Sentry Mode running. So that'll be cool. Two big updates, hopefully coming sooner than later this year. Obviously, it's very nice to see these features finally come to Tesla's, though I will say I still find it odd that Tesla implements some features somewhere and other features in certain markets. For example, Tesla is heavily focusing on the Chinese market right now. That's where they're trying to be their most competitive with the new mini Model Y refresh, as well as special software features for those vehicles as well, like 3D maps and different uh, uh, guidance renderings and the ability to see red light countdowns in Tesla's. And speaking of special Tesla international features, features. One of the things that Tesla's internationally have had for a while now are some special colors. Quicksilver, Midnight Cherry were only available uh, over in the Chinese and European market, but now it looks like those might actually be coming to the North American market very soon. And while it's nice that Tesla does offer a couple of new color options for 2024, I think that I and many other Tesla owners would agree, and let me know in the comments down below if you do agree, um, that we want some more ways to customize our Tesla, to make it stand out, to make it look different from every other Tesla on the road right now. And if you're looking for the best way to make your Tesla stand out and customize it in a really easy way, you're in luck because a company called Tesla Emblems is here to really do that and so much more. This is by far one of the coolest Tesla accessory companies I've seen because not only do they allow you to really easily customize the inside and outside of your Tesla, but even sort of spice up the old boring stock Tesla accessories you probably forgot that you had buried in your purse or wallet in a way that is incredibly fun, exciting, really easy with a wide variety of designs they've got on their website that you can check out that are simply incredible and trust me, they look even better in person. I'll put a link down below so you can check out all they've got to offer for yourself, but uh, I had a little fun with the goodies that Tesla Emblem sent over to me. For example, my two-year-old is really obsessed with Toy Story right now, so my wife indulged her going with a Toy Story theme on her Model 3. She changed out the emblems, even the charge port. These designs are so vibrant, so colorful, just look amazing. And on the Model X Plaid, I did a couple of things. Not only did I have to go Plaid mode on the key card, which I think looks so much better than the sock boring black key card. Also, I've got uh, e uh, Elon's Amazon black card and a blockbuster card as well but also on the plaid itself i went plaid mode on the tesla emblem and again it's colorful it's vibrant the install here is super simple and just looks incredible and one of the things that i really love here is that tesla emblems has a wide variety of designs to choose from and again you can spice up more than just your key cards or your emblems or the inside or outside they've got a lot of different things you can choose from right on their website and no matter what you decide to do the install is super simple they've got videos that'll walk you through how to do everything step by step and also these wraps are made from the same ultra high quality vinyl used for full-on vehicle wraps that means they've got micro air channels for easy bubble free installation and with a little bit of heat you can easily remove them and take them off no having to worry about any sort of damage or anything like that uh, it'll come off super easily if you've got a lease and you've got to take them off before you return your car and again i cannot stress enough how much i love what they've got to offer the designs are fun the colors are vibrant everything is incredibly high quality here and it's just so cool and fun to have this stuff and just a fun way to really spruce up your Tesla. The team over there is working on some new products coming soon as well, so be sure to stay tuned to the website to check out what's coming next. And also, I've teamed up with the folks at Tesla Emblems uh, for something fun, to give you guys 15% off your entire order by using the coupon code MrRobisTech. It's on screen and also down below in the description. 15% off your entire order by using that coupon code MrRobisTech. But I've also got something special here as well I want to do. The folks at Tesla Emblems were kind enough to hook me up with a lot of different samples for this video. And unfortunately, I don't have enough Teslas to actually do all these installs here. So that I do a couple of giveaways for you guys. So here's what to do to enter to win. Just um, subscribe to the channel, like this video, head to teslaemblems.com, follow them on Instagram, check out what they've got to offer. And let me know down below your favorite design, what you love from them and uh, drop it in a comment down below. And I'll pick a couple of you guys at random to do some giveaways uh, too and uh, hopefully hook you up with what you want. But of course, check out what they've got to offer. You can use that coupon code to get yourself 15% off and really enjoy what they've got. Again, I've uh, 
seen a lot of Tesla accessories, and uh, this is by far one of the coolest companies I've come across. Really, really love all they've got to offer. So again, learn more, check it out for yourself today. Enter the giveaway. Links and all the info is down below in the description. And again, 15% off your entire order with coupon code Mr. Rob is tech. So learn more and check out Tesla emblems for yourself right now. The link right down below. These colors first debuted at the state-of-the-art paint shop at Giga Berlin, as Tesla claimed this was the only shop on the planet that could make these colors. But now, a few years later, Tesla is slowly expanding them to other markets. For example, Quicksilver has now made its way over to China. It's now available as a color in the Chinese market. And also, we've seen numerous spottings of Quicksilver at Giga Texas, which some have led to sort of speculate that maybe Quicksilver could be coming as a special Model Y color uh, here in the United States very soon. Then, a recent user who actually took a tour of uh, Giga Texas with some referral rewards where you could sort of do the factory tour, snapped an interesting photo of a, a Midnight Cherry Model Y parked there pretty prominently at Giga Texas, which at least had me thinking, wonder why it's there at Texas. I wonder if we could see, maybe this is just me speculating, Quicksilver and Midnight Cherry come as special colors here in the United States. We know that Tesla is trying to do a lot to make the Model Y competitive. Obviously, the Model 3 Highland has sort of got the spotlight right now. Cybertruck is more exciting. Model Y is a bit more boring and dull. And while we do now have Ultra Red and Stealth Gray as two new colors, being able to have even more exclusive colors like uh, Midnight Cherry and Quicksilver come to other markets around the world would make a lot of sense and would especially make a lot of sense here in the U.S. market. So might be uh, something to sort of keep in mind is that two new colors might be coming to the North American Model Ys very, very soon. All right, now, of course, we can't go any further in this video without getting into one of the biggest stories of the Tesla world for the last week or so, and that is now basically the full leak, the full uncovered leak of the Model 3 performance, or Model 3 Ludicrous. Video is captured of the Tesla media team in Spain filming this new model, presumably for the promotional content we'll see on the website when it launches, and for the first time ever, we've got the full uncovered look of this vehicle from Frunk to Trunk, and there are a couple of handful of uh, changes is here you're gonna want to know about. First and foremost, those performance seats are here. They were captured in these videos. They were even captured in this photo from a couple of days ago. They are wider, more aggressive bolstering, definitely sportier, and have a ludicrous badge built in to really signal to everyone these are special sports seats. Also, of course, on the back of that Model 3 is a ludicrous badge, not a plaid badge, but a ludicrous badge there to denote this is a performance model. And also, we've got uh, some other cosmetic changes around the car as well that sort of show off this is the highest end Model 3 you can get. We've got those red brake calipers on the wheels, some new performance wheels, and apparently, according to some who have seen this in Tesla's park catalog, uh, these have a name. They're called warp wheels and available, at least in this photo here, in the incognito color and might be available in two different sizes, a 19-inch size and a 20-inch size, a first, I believe, for a performance Tesla. We can also see a slightly modified front bumper that's going to allow for more air intake to keep the car and different components cooler. It's got a sort of slightly tweaked redesigned spoiler on the back and a lowered suspension, at least sort of in this video here, that definitely makes it more aggressive and more sporty for this ludicrous model. There are also some other rumors of features that we just couldn't see in these photos and videos. Uh, for example, a more premium dashboard material and just overall more premium materials could be in this higher end model. Uh, potentially a plaid motor is here making this magic happen. And also for performance and performance numbers here, a sub three second zero to 60 time is the current rumor of this new Model 3 performance. And also there's some speculation, Tesla could call this Model 3 performance. Maybe it's Model 3 ludicrous. Maybe it's Model 3 performance with ludicrous mode. Not exactly sure how the name's gonna go, uh, but it looks like it's coming very soon. Okay, that sort of leads me to the big question of when could this thing actually launch? Well, we don't have a concrete date on this. We did hear from one Tesla executive last year that we would see this vehicle launch or at least be announced within the first six months of 2024. So that's a very wide date range. So something in that range certainly would make sense. But seeing as Tesla is now uh, kind of openly or not so openly filming this and the media assets are getting created, there was at least one rumor, and I can't remember who the source was, but there was a rumor we would see this before the end of quarter one, which is the end of March in 2024, at least an announcement, which actually does make sense. If Tesla is filming this now and getting this stuff ready, I think an announcement sometime in March and maybe a release in April or May could make a lot of sense. So be on the lookout for this Model 3 performance. And if you're in the market for a Model 3 performance, get ready because Tesla could drop this literally at any moment. 
And then of course, for anyone asking, we will see this on the Model Y as well. There'll be some equivalent uh, ludicrous mode, probably the same uh, exterior changes, the badging, spoiler, stuff like that. That'll be really cool and basically be like a mini Model X Plaid. And um, that is gonna be awesome. But again, with that, we're sort of way down the line uh, coming in 2025. But if Tesla can sort of iron out the kinks of the Model 3 release, Hopefully we see a Model Y release where all three models come at once because we saw the Model 3 Highland release in September and we didn't get a performance model till maybe, you know, not well, not a year later, but what is it? Six, nine months later, a significant amount of time later. So hopefully we see all Model Y uh, uh, variants launch at the same time. Ooh. And finally, after nearly 10 years and having spent $10 billion, that's billion with a B, Apple has canceled their EV project. Known internally as Project Titan, this was Apple's EV, their first vehicle ever, and was supposed to be both an autonomous vehicle and also a premium EV of a price tag of around $100,000. Apple had been working on the project for years and years. Apparently, as of this year, the uh, project had 2,000 employees. Uh, but uh, now Apple decided over the week uh, to shutter the project after many, many roadblocks and setbacks, and now will not be moving forward with making their own vehicle, uh, which many analysts sort of say is sort of a not so quiet nod to the fact that Tesla is leading the industry and simply put, even with all the money in the world, they can't compete. I've also got to mention a little bit of sort of breaking news for today, and that is that according to Tesla Scope, Tesla is finally going to be bringing some long needed upgrades to the Model S and Model X as soon as today, though the timeline is a bit unclear. According to Tesla Scope, Tesla is finally bringing RGB ambient lighting, uh, the front bumper camera, and potentially some other features to Tesla's highest end vehicles. But while they say these features will launch on March 1st, it's a little unclear on what that means. As of recording this video, Tesla's website still shows the older images. That could change by the time this video goes live. Who knows, because Tesla changes things on a whim. But the more uh, prevailing theory is that Tesla is making these changes on the production line today, and then uh, newer uh, deliveries of these vehicles over the next couple of weeks will include a host of these new features. So something to keep in mind if you're looking at a Model S or Model X, those features, according to Tesla Scope, should be rolling out right now, and hopefully Tesla's website will reflect those changes soon if it's not already live right now. Just check the Tesla website if you want to confirm because uh, just my luck, I'll post this video and things will change. So I'm curious, what are your thoughts on all the Tesla news for the week? Let me know your thoughts down below. Also, like I said, Tesla emblems giveaway. They make so many cool accessories and uh, some really great ways to customize your vehicle. If you want to uh, learn more, uh, check out the link down below. And again, just leave a comment down below, subscribe, like this video, let me know what you'd like. And uh, maybe I'll do a couple, I am going to do a couple of giveaways of some things, but if I can find what you've got in my stash, I'll uh, pick a couple of you and uh, send it to you totally for free. And again, check out what they're doing down below below. Uh, they are supporters of this channel and uh, make some really great stuff. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you so much. I'm Robert Rosenfeld, and I'll see you all in the next one.